Thanks. I got Ray Brown with me. The pseudonym is uh, this fucking guy. He curses a lot. I thought I should warn you. He's not unlike me. He talks more like this, though. This one's called Sunset. This is one. You ready? You good? The Ray Brown. He's good. <laughs> This is one beautiful fucking sunset. Jesus fucking God, will you look at this shit? Fucking A, am I right? I mean, it's just the fucking sun dropping below the fucking horizon, but fuck me, look at that shit. Like a fucking work of art. Like a painting of a beautiful fucking sunset, only better. Fucking unbelievable, fucking A. This next one's called Owls. <laughs> seem so fucking wise to me. They look like dicks usually with their chests all puffed out and shit like they're saying fuck me, no fuck you, but of course they're not fucking saying that. Owls don't actually want to fuck with you, they will say the fuck out of your way is what I found, but if you happen to be a chipmunk running in a fucking field or a squirrel fucking another squirrel let's say and an owl sees you, you're fucked. You're fucked. That fucking owl will swoop down on your chipmunk or squirrel ass and pick you up with some sharp ass motherfucking talons and fly you up to a branch and just fucking eat you. Eat you alive. That is some fucked up shit. You could even be a fucking bird flying along and that fucking owl will catch you in mid-fucking air and you're fucked. Owls will also eat insects and fucking worms. That doesn't seem so fucking wise to me. The only time I ever ate a worm, it was at the bottom of a fucking bottle of tequila, and that wasn't so fucking wise, let me fucking tell you. I'm not saying owls are totally fucking stupid. I'm just saying they're not fucking geniuses is all. That's Ray Brownie. Thanks for helping me, Ray. I got one more I gotta do. Uh, this one is not by me, but it also features a lot of cursing. Uh, I discussed this with the author. Um, I had this idea for a poem, but I thought it shouldn't be written by a man or spoken. I thought it would be good. good friend of mine, uh, Maggie Estep, who died this year. So she was like, you should write it. I'm like, no, you should write it. So she wrote it. But now I'm going to read it, because uh, she died in February, and I miss her terribly still, and I feel like her voice should be here tonight. This one's called... So from an original idea by me, this is by Maggie Estep, it's called Fuck Me. Fuck me, I'm all screwed up, so fuck me. Fuck me and take out the garbage. Feed the cat and fuck me. You can do it, I know you can me and theorize about sadomasochism's relationship to classical philosophy. Tell me how this stimulates the fabric of most human relationships. I love that kind of pointless intellectualism, so do it again and fuck me. Stop being logical, stop contemplating the origins of evil and the beauty of death. This is not a TV movie about Plato's sex life. This is fuck me, so fuck me. It's the pause that refreshes. Just add water and fuck me. I wrote this so I'd have a good excuse to say fuck me over and over and over so I could get a lot of attention and look it worked so thank you thank you and fuck me thanks maggie thank you Jonathan. <laughs> you're thinking arrowsman um